Hi everyone and welcome to another in this series of videos where I summarise one of the studies from component two of the OCR A-level psychology syllabus in about 60 seconds, give or take. This video is about the study by Simons and Spree from 1999. It's one of my favourites. In fact, I replicated this study for my dissertation back in the early 2000s, a million years ago. But let's get into it and see if we can uh, summarise it in 60-ish seconds. So this study was a lab experiment using an independent measures design. All in all, there were 16 different conditions. There were 228 participants who were recruited by self-selected, although this later dropped to 192. The procedure was that participants were shown a video of two teams playing a basketball and asked to count the passes made by one of the teams, a gorilla or a woman with an umbrella across the screen halfway through, and afterwards they were asked to recall any unusual events from the video. In general, 46% of participants failed to see the unexpected event. This percentage was higher in the opaque condition when watching the white team Team and in the hard task condition. So the more focus you put on a task, the more it took attention away from the unexpected event. The gorilla was also missed more often than the umbrella woman, especially in the white team condition. From this, we can conclude that the degree of inattentional blindness depends mostly on the difficulty of any primary task and is more likely to happen when the primary task is hard. Observers are also more likely to notice unexpected events if those events are visually similar to the events they are paying attention to. Uh, the evaluation points of this study is that it's a good sized sample, quite a big sample actually. It's very reliable and very internally valid. Uh, we can see this in how often participants were removed from the study. However, there are some problems with ecological validity because it was a video and not an actual event. And there are some ethical issues with the study, although generally it's pretty all right. That was a one minute and 15 second summary of a very complicated study, which I'm quite impressed with, actually. Uh, the hardest thing of this study is all of the data that there is and the percentages there are for all the different conditions. My advice is to try and pin it down to pairs of conditions. So, for example, compare the white team and the black team keeping everything else the same or the hard task and the easy task keeping everything else the same and go for those percentages. If you pair them up, it means your brain works a little bit harder learning the difference between the two and that hard work is actually what leads us to remember things better general revision tip there for you do things in your own words work your brain a bit more you'll actually remember things better uh, if you have got any questions about this study feel free to stick them in the comments underneath uh, i'm working my way through the last few requests now as i record this one um, so fingers crossed i'll have a full set ready for you sooner or later thanks for watching subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of these things and if you've got requests or any videos to do available psych that aren't to do with study summaries then also please let me know cheers thanks for watching